Hi, I'm Dan from Northern Lights, and today I'm going to be cloning with root tech. Alright, I'm going to take my root tech and I'm going to dump everything that I'm going to use today in a clean container and put the rest in the fridge. You don't want to dip everything right in the same thing because it'll go bad. All right, and I'm gonna be using Root Riot plugs. They are rooting medium, works really well as added trichoderma. Uh, so I'm gonna take that and put a little larger hole in the top, the stem. Now that I have my plugs all done, I'm gonna get my cutting material ready. This is a coleus. I already have the cuttings all ready to go. I've already been cut, but I'm gonna go over it with fresh material. Uh, take a cutting directly under the node. that'll be under inside the Root Riot plug. I'm gonna take it and peel it off. Propagation tray, cue holes, one of the nut holes. Take that, my Root Tech. Try to cover the whole area that's going to be inside the plug. All right, so I just got done taking my clones and putting them in my propagation tray. And now my plug drill will dry some of the water I'm in. I use just water and a little algamic. It's all liquid sea kelp. Really use any kind. This is just what we had at the time. Uh, seems to help the plant get over stress. Uh, a lot of micronutrients. Keep water in the tray, but not enough to actually touch the plugs at all times. And then we put a heating mat, and it keeps it humid. And then I have a spray bottle full of water and about a mil of algamic. And I'm gonna spray them down and do this twice a day. Humidity dome, and this one has vents on the top, and both of them are closed completely. And that's it. Cloning with root tech. All right, so I took my root tech clones and put them in my clone hut. And so I just put them on the top shelf. And instead of a heat mat, we have uh, three T5s, and that acts as a heat mat. I'll keep this in here along with the Azos clones and I'll check it out once a day until it has roots. <laughs>